all right everyone welcome to the pop culture streets and we need to talk about a couple things that are happening right now okay first of all very quickly the new show from gordon ramsay and lisa vanderpump is out there go and watch it okay it's really 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 good i just wanted to give that quick um uh i don't know announcement okay i think it's in fox so go and watch it it's really really good now let's talk about reality uh yesterday was the premiere of uh the kardashians season five you know and everyone was talking about scott disick scott disick losing weight scott disick looking great until he didn't you know and it is so funny because now we know that scott disick now is going through like some kind of like addiction to ozempic or you know or to one of those drugs right and we are seeing what it was being filmed like back in the day you know like on the show he is already skinny but he was not alarmingly skinny as he is right now okay now it is so funny because during the show the chris jenner and Khloe kardashian like they are giving him praises you know he's like you look good you look amazing oh my god you know uh chris says scott looks great and i know that he really struggled the last year or so i felt like he was not in the best place and made it made and it made me really sad you know then chloe gave her you know uh a shout out as she opened the, the fridge and all she saw was water almond milk and grapes you know um they also said scott wasn't happy about putting on the extra pounds he hated really while some of his friends say he put in the hard work by exercising and changing his diet. But, well, as you know, others said that he jumped on Ozempic, uh, on the Ozempic, you know, thing that is going on everywhere. Well, the worst part is, this was just like the beginning, you know, like the first news were like, oh yeah, Scott having like a healthy lifestyle, he's losing so much weight, you know, oh my God. Because it is so easy, you know, to just go around and run around and then you're going to lose all the weight, you know. Um, girl, when everyone start kind of like pausing, looking at the fridge, zooming, you know. And what are we seeing right there next and uh, next to the water or the almond milk, you know, or whatever it was. Girl, a full on box of Manjaro. Manjaro is, you know, the other drug like Ozempic, you know. Actually, they say that Manjaro is even more effective than Ozempic. Girl. <laughs> so they're trying to deny. I think that was the plan. Honestly, I think if he wouldn't have been caught or anything, I think the plan of, of us always like to deny, you know. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's right there, right on display you know the full box of manjaro so we know is definitely you know going through that i'm uh, i have look i don't have a problem with this uh with uh, uh weight loss drugs to be very honest with you i'm like whatever you want and now that they actually separate the diabetes drugs from the weighting loss drugs even more you know like i'm like do you do whatever you want to do right who cares it's like cosmetic uh uh, surgery is like just if you want to do it i mean it's your body your body your choice right now the only thing that really gives me the ache is when you see people who are skinny you know act like they are like morbidly obese and get into like all of this craziness you know i feel that the doctors will like that all that these drugs because these drugs are not magical drugs it comes with a lot of things you know a lot of side effects a lot of like possible outcome possible things in the future you know so i will be like look your doctor will you know take your measures and all of that you know and if you are really past certain point then help you lose that weight you know but i i Honestly, give me the ick. I don't, I, it's very weird. Like, I will not, like, I, I don't want to say judge because I'm kind of like judging right now. But, like, I don't know. 
Like, do whatever you want to do, but, like, it's very weird to me that a person who is, like, 200 or, like, 180 pounds, and they're like, oh, my God, I am so obese. Oh, my God, no, 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 I need to look, I need to be weighing, like, 140 pounds. Otherwise, I'm, like, the obesest person in the world. I'm like, what? You know, like, there is a point where it is just too much. And look where Scott Disick is right now completely decremated, completely looking like shit, you know, and it's just too much. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm going to be watching the Kardashians. I'm going to be, you know, doing all of this, like little news here and there. Let me know what, how you feel about Scott Disick, you know. There was also a lot of talk about um, Kim Kardashian returning to Paris for Fashion Week, you know, after everything that went down with her over there. And her family even saying like, oh my gosh, she's crazy. She's she's losing it, you know. But I actually have to applaud Kim. I feel that there are big traumas in life. And the only way to like get over those drama, those traumas, you know, it's facing your fears, right? Why are you gonna give that trauma so much power over you? You know, like like stop enjoying things that you really love, for example, you know, and like a whole city, for example, you know. I know it's horrible, it's crappy, it's very, especially what Kim went through, I think it was a very traumatic. So I have to applaud her for actually being brave enough to return to Paris. So, yeah. Anyways, let me know how uh, if you're watching the Kardashians and how do you feel about all of this, all right? Now, let's talk a little bit about Billie Eilish because she's getting a lot of backlash right now. Mm -hmm. She is messing with the wrong fan bases because not only she's going for the Swifties, which is one of the most powerful, you know, fan bases, but now she's also going after the Beehive, Beyonce's, you know, fans. Girl. So she did an interview and she said that um, doing a three hour show is just too much. That no one wants to hear a three-hour show. That she will never do a three-hour show, you know. And she says, Billie Eilish seemingly shares her thought on a station head about the Era store and the Renaissance store earlier today. The only recent high-profile tours to span three or more hours. She says, doing a three-hour show, that's literally psychotic. Nobody wants that. You guys don't want that. I don't want that. I don't even want that as a fan. Even my favorite artists, I'm not trying to hear them for three hours. That's far too long. That's literally psychotic. And people were losing it on the comment section. Girl, I mean, you don't come for the Swifties and the Beehive and think that you are going to live to tell the tale, you know? Girl. Everyone was like so angry. Everyone saying like, oh, that's just because you cannot do that. You cannot fill an arena. You cannot have an, a show of three hours, you know, and all of that. People are saying like, this is not a girl's girl, of course. Billy doesn't have enough songs to last her for three hours. Another person, girl, you need to stop digging before you drown. Um, another person says the worst thing this girl could do was mess with Taylor Swift. Another person says... Um, Okay, okay, and I, I wanted to read this one because someone was actually defending her, you know, uh, and saying that this is not what she meant to. She was just meant to be like, oh, it's just too much for me. You know, like, Billy could not do that. But, like, girl, she literally said that everyone is psychotic for, for doing this, you know. But anyways, because they're putting a piece when Billy actually was praising them, you know, but there was in another place. She says, it, I, I find it really hard to play stadiums. Beyonce and Taylor Swift are untouchable superstars. The fact that they can't put on a show that long and it's filled with so many incredible moments, it's really amazing. I don't want anyone to think I'm ungrateful about playing in stadiums, but when you go to one, there's nothing in you there there's nothing in you that thinks that the artist knows you are there. I want the crowd to know that I am seeing them with my own eyes. I don't know. I mean, I feel... I mean, there are people saying that, that you know, the fans are the ones now creating this feud, that she actually doesn't have a feud. 
I feel that it's also like a very personal opinion. You know, maybe she doesn't want to go to a concert for three hours, you know. But when she says, you know, I don't even want that as a fan, you know. And then she says, you guys don't want that. I'm just thinking like now you are, you are telling it to the world, you know, and you are saying, oh, no one wants that. But believe me, there's these Swifties, this uh, Beehivers, I don't know how you call themselves, you know, they want that. You know, if they could have a 24 hour concert of these people, they will be there for 24 hours, you know, so you cannot kind of like judge other people for that. You know, I think it will be more if what she really meant was like, I could not do that. I could not sit down there or like jump around for three hours say it like that because now you're offending a whole bunch of people and two of the biggest fan bases that are out there you know what i mean so anyways uh, let me know what you guys think on uh, the comments below about that one and that's it for the pop culture streets but don't go anywhere because now it is time for the juiciest part of the show and those are my breaking news. <laughs> 